you guys all think that I want um Hold on, I just oh, muted both of you. Okay, Dude, so for real, my audience. I don't so want, want you to talk over care. each other. I'm trying, trying to let you speak, too. so and I will I let never, you speak. Ever, to just ever. give me a fucking second. Give me a second or I'll start clowning you. I, I really want to listen to what you have to I say, so just give it a break. Bobby, let the guy fucking talk. I'm going to unmute both of you. I'm doing a Roy right now, but seriously, it does no good when it's just everybody screaming. So give me a second, but I'm... Everybody. Baby is dumb as Go that. ahead. Talk. Okay, thank you talk. so much. Listen. But but listen, okay. but what we don't need to talk over each other. I agree with that because it makes no sense. Nobody can understand what, what any of us are saying. Okay. No problem. No problem. Okay. Go so, ahead. You okay. talk. I would, I, so all of that time that I've been working, so so there's been a certainty. I, I contacted Pedro, I contacted many I, so I had a team about a year and a half ago, and we compiled a spreadsheet of all the gig tubers, and I studied all of you for the last year and a half, all your content, everything that you're doing. That's what I do while I write the book. So I learned a lot in addition to doing 5,521 dashes, and I've gone on all a whole bunch of gig tube broadcasts and stuff. You can see me on Rideshare Guy or on Rideshare Rodeo or whatever, all the channels to talk about this stuff, okay? So that's what I've been doing with my time. Then something special happened, Sherry. Uh, three weeks ago on Friday, and this is exactly what happened, brother. Okay, so three weeks ago on Friday, three and a half weeks ago, right? Because I think it's a, it's a Wednesday. Okay, it's Wednesday. I just rolled out of bed, as you know. So, um, and I smoked a ton of weed. In fact, hold on, brother. 420, baby. All right, that's for the audience. So, um, I got three different phone calls on that night that something happened, that you had put up a... Uh, instructional video for the glitch and then it had disappeared and that um, there was another video online that was a recording of uh, two people that were called Sherry and Flex and they had a conversation you can watch the video it's called the beginning of the end of DoorDash because it was and it is um, right because I broke DoorDash and we all broke DoorDash because DoorDash is a is a rigged uh, criminal cabal, uh, global cabal, owned by BlackRock, owned by uh, SoftBank, owned by Saudi Arabian dark money, Chinese dark money, the Japanese billionaire that owns SoftBank. This is nefarious, man. This ain't American apple pie, my brother. Okay, so um, when I got that, I freaked out, man. It was like it was like eleven o'clock Friday night. So I ran downstairs, my friend. I mean, I ran. And I got on your channel and I found that what they said was true. I sat there and I listened to you and Flex having spit uh, whoever. I don't know how I'm talking to you guys. I mean, Flex has a face. You don't have a face. I bet you have a face in real Dude, life. Do me a favor. First of all, I have a face. Second of all, why do you keep bringing up Flex? He's not here. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Be because you and Flex were on the, you and Flex, well, this is the same thing. So Pedro gets confused about this too. You guys gave the evidence. I played a recording. No, I did not. I gave the evidence on a live with Marcus. Dude, it's I, on, when I, I had it on the, the internet. Okay, so w wherever you were, whoever you were talking to, you said it was. You said you were you. Flex mm. said he was you. He was him. And you guys had a conversation. That was an argument. I, okay, but hold on. Let me just and, explain okay. the history because and, the, the, the blurred history thing, becomes fact. So that you can clarify for me. And, yes. And okay. out of one of your mouths, I don't remember because I haven't watched this since I made it. If one or other of you said, Pedro knows it. And Pedro said, that's not even the real scam. There's a much bigger scam. That was it, man. That's what I played. You guys incriminated yourself. I have never, ever, ever accused Pedro, who's dumb as a fucking rock, you, or Flex of anything but being bigots and idiots, right? Some of you might be bigots, okay, some of you okay, might be well, idiots. Now, the, the key thing, and I want to throw this at you, right? So I went downstairs. I Saturday morning, I said, hey, I'm going to announce a big video. I'm going to go live tonight, and I'm going to show you a, a breaking story. And I did. I played your voice and Flex's voice telling the facts. How you think that me, as a civil rights writer who's written millions of words over the last 20 years and who has uh, worked 5,521 deliveries during the pandemic gig economy and has studied DoorDash and worked for 5,000 hours over the last year and a half to do this, I don't know how you think that, that I might care if you're my friend or not or if you troll me or not or if your friends troll me or not or if you guys play videos of me doing civil disobedience and going to jail 10 times. or hey, I write about that stuff dude people are doing oppo research on my youtube channel can you guys all do can everybody do oppo research on my youtube channel and please share it because cherry this is funny man you laugh about stuff all the time tell me that's not fucking funny so that's the story cherry that was my whole story i'm gonna listen to you talk and sit silent thank you my brother
right, all right, all right. Now, Bobby, I know what you're about to say, so let me say this. Flex has nothing to do with anything. I'm going to clarify the timeline. I knew, well, we're not even getting into all this, but I will tell you that Pedro made a post in May when there was a top dasher problem with, I guess it was Mother's Day. I don't fucking remember. If you all knew about the real glitch, none of this would matter. That's what he's referring to. Okay? Oh, let me finish. Let me finish because I'm, I'm not going to mute you. Okay? That's what they're referring to. Apparently, I let the gig world know officially when we have all known for over a year, a year and a half, some people have known for four months about the glitch. The glitch is, first of all, Pedro, that's who did it. I never said anything till he tried to tease it. And I personally have a problem with Pedro. I wasn't going to let him tease something that he thinks that he is knows or wants to be special about. So I've known about it for a long time. I've known about it for over a year. I've known about the complete details for a year. So have a lot of people on YouTube. It's not a secret. So I will go I've one heard. step further. I've known too. You've known about the glitch. Yeah. Look, then why did me, you have to run to down you. and let me okay, let me tell why you. Why did you have to run down and get out of your panties and run down no, no, at no, eleven no. o'clock so and because watch I had you. you I had you exposing it to the world. You did me the biggest favor ever. You made me uh, popular with millions Okay, of now people now can I just burst your bubble hero, a little? My and, You're my hero. Okay, but can I just make it so it's not that big of a deal? Absolutely. Do you know the origin of the glitch? No. Do you know the origin of the glitch? No. Would you like to know? Hell yeah. Okay, remember way back when, and I'm going to give you a little a little taste of that. I know what I'm talking about. And just Before you, know, you I say a word, dashing in July of 2020, and then I dashed until July of 2022. Just so okay. you know the time. All right. Do and you have emails? Writing. Okay. Okay, have, do you have email addresses of people that used to be driver support in the Philippines and have relatives that are currently driver support? Just to answer these questions real Negative. quick. Negative. No. Okay. Have you ever been offered a W-2 from DoorDash? Never. Have you ever got assignments from DoorDash that are not delivering to help with merchants? Say that again. I'm not sure I understand what you're asking. Have you ever call, got a call from DoorDash and got paid cash money to have certain assignments from DoorDash that had nothing to do with actually picking up merchandise and dropping it off? Absolutely not. I've never... I, I had like a single... Then, and and, and, and no, we are we safe anything. to say that Right. Are we safe to say that every gig tuber you have mentioned would probably probably say no to all of those things? Uh, yeah, I would I would say so because they're honest. OK. People. All right. So y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about. No, no, I can explain. Why I, I do. Know. I, but I see I do know. So here's the thing. OK, gonna, now, wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you the origin of the glitch. Okay. The origin of the glitch appeared last year when word got out that. Tony Chu was reenacting that every employee has to fucking take orders. And the glitch got back to That's fucking genius, man. That's fucking genius. It's not. Listen, they. I can have somebody manipulate manipulate my acceptance rate my completion rate everything except my on time by a flick of a button right now in front of your eyes why would they go through all that trouble why don't they just reset Bentley Coop shit while he's sleeping why would they put this thing out it serves no purpose it that's the original part of the glitch that's why it was put out and that's the timing of it believe me look at the timing when that was being enacted again and people did videos and that you, executives were pissed that they had to go dash you're my damn hero my friend i mean look if you okay now so that you, did, you now uh, just became uh, remember stepbrothers we're, we're now best friends okay so let me just tell you okay one well thing. we're not i want to tell you i'm trying to friend. tell you, you that i love everybody i want to tell you one thing Kerry. no here's how i knew okay what you're talking about because i want to tell you i did know and here's how because i figured out before i even started this book as I told everybody, DoorDash is 100% a video game scam that you're playing. It's like playing Mario Kart. There is literally nothing that's real. They can do anything they want to anything they want. Everything has a setting. Nothing is organic. A so here's the deal between, between DoorDash. So a tree is organic so it can grow in your yard. 
A car is not organic. It cannot grow in your driveway. You can stare at your driveway for the rest of time. A car will never grow there. DoorDash is a car. Nothing grows. And so people calling it a glitch is hilarious because it's not a glitch. I told people the first day, I said, it's a feature. It's a Nothing. back door. It's a back door, but it's a feature. I mean, it's it's designed by DoorDash. It didn't, things don't happen accidentally. No, 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 no. It's designed by DoorDash computer people. Yes. The Thank app you, makers. It's not it. designed by Tony Chu. I know that. DoorDash, Tony Chu doesn't do work. He's a CEO, dude. So here's the thing. Do you know? So here's a, do you know? Do you know that the Well, DoorDash it's actually Tony Chu dashes every month, but that's here in the Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure he does. Okay, so do you no, know? No, he does. And so does the little guy that plays poker. And while we're on the subject, okay. while I'm allowed to talk on my own stream, the whole system is set up like a casino. I know. The, the, it could be higher. The everything. So when you say it's a game, it's set up to be a game because that's the mentality of ignorant work in this world right. we live in our phone we people. live in our games it's designed to addict people like a slot machine i use those analogies I, this is all the book uh, my brother i have written a million words like you were right. talking now about let right me now. finish Sorry. let me finish real quick you just did a bong hit on my show i am an admitted addict when it comes to sex women money um all kinds like of crazy women. things over my life um if you notice people that are successful dashers have a tick they're on the spectrum they might have attention deficit disorder they might have things where they have to do something every day a certain time a certain way that's how those people survive using the apps and they can't survive with the nine to five because they will get fired they can't handle it it's all geared the same way it was purposely done that way and it's good for people that have asperger's to do doordash believe it or not it's good for people that are on spectrums different ways to do doordash it's it's okay, catered to totally. addicts it's look, catered man, to people with bipolar disease credit. it's catered it's catered people that have certain issues that have to get up at seven in the morning and turn on DoorDash because it's part of their mental disorder. Amazing, brother. Amazing. Okay, so I so you want to talk more. about it is built. I mean, they talk about this in their earnings call. DoorDash, the Dasher app and the food app are built to addict people. It's gamified and gamified. So it's addictive. What you're saying is true. And so anybody that has an addiction problem or anybody that maybe doesn't have a life that's keeping is the busy, perfect driver. I've, I've heard I have heard so many people say I don't even make a lot of money, but I just can't sit at home. I got to get out and do something. Is that I got to keep my wheels moving. Exactly. I don't care how much the profit is. Right. And so that's why people I, turn into app slaves because it's a trap and they keep their wheels moving even when they're losing money. Is that true, Cherry? I got to smoke a joint even if it's ragweed. I have to drink a beer even if it's that's fucking right. natural light ice. You're I have genius, to man. take a $5 order because I'm too addicted to wait for the $12 order. You're right. And and we just put DoorDash out of business. And so the reason, that, so that's really- But how did you put DoorDash out of business from a glitch well so i'm gonna explain that to you so so okay I, let's hear it I'm, I'm curious okay so you didn't i you probably haven't watched my broadcast that you starred in um and and you're the star now my friend you you just brother i'm not being disrespectful no, no, but no, i didn't watch not, pedro's I, live i dude, i just spent two hours anything, on the phone like, with I'm udm so i haven't friend. watched I this shit i might ask you to marry me i might ask you to marry okay me. you how do you, can, right, you well. can you cook can you cook um, yeah, I'm a comfort right. chef, brother. You're a sex addict, oh. right? That's good. Yes. All right, you're a fun guy. All right, so... But I'm not go. very well... I'm here's not very reason. well endowed. Here's the reason... Me too. All right, here here we go. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I, need to, I, I don't talk about those things. All right, so... I'm not really endowed. I'm not reason. very well endowed, but I can, I'll can. i fuck you till you I cry if that will make you happy. You're saying. Okay, so, so if you go to... So I'm on LinkedIn because I went to Duke and I got my MBA and I was a, I was a guy in the corporate world, right? So... Um, I'm on LinkedIn and I've been in LinkedIn since it started when I was at Duke many, many years ago. I can't remember. I think I graduated in 2005, whenever that was. So it's uh, 18 years probably. Okay. Right? Okay. So did you go to business school? Hold on, hold on. Did you go to business school at this? Duke University. Yes. Okay. Well, the, the, the chancellor or whatever they're called of Duke. Yeah. business in 2005 is i call oh he's dead now but he was i referred to him as uncle he taught me how to play chess when oh, wow. i'm fucking three years old name? i'm not gonna say that because michael stays separate one day i will tell you all right cool man you can have um, a jewish name obviously an obviously jewish name if you, well, if anybody Jew, wants man. to check i'm jewish yeah, well, I, I'm I'm actually a Tao and a Buddhist and a Satanist and don't believe in God, but I was raised Jewish. All right. Yeah, I was not raised Jewish, but I am ethnically Jewish. My entire family is Jewish. 
but my what grandparents. What the hell does that mean? Well, my my two grandparents were the only two people in their entire families out of like a hundred people that renounced Judaism and did not practice, and so they kind of put out the word when. Uh, oh, okay, okay, it, that's it, fair when, enough. When we were we're going off topic, said, but I was just curious yeah. because obviously you are educated, and I know, like I said, I have ties to duke to in different that's ways that's i used to go on vacation i hung out in chapel hill as a teenager i'm a lot older i'm 56 so right. i'm older than you so chapel hill's where those nasty north carolina bastards are we you know durham is where duke is but you know close enough uh chapel hill uh, dude it, to me well it's the same it's the yeah, same chapel hill's better. they act yeah, like chapel hill's better they act like they hate each other right but you know yeah you I, know how that I works know. We, that, to, we went to the all the north carolina bars in chapel hill every saturday night man all right so so anyways so so when so when uh all of these things happen that you're talking about uh i was already explaining to people the non-organic nature and so when i saw people and that's why when i started contacting all these dashers i realized people like pedro were lying to me, and, and I said that in my podcast. They're not honestly stupid, they're dishonestly stupid. There's a difference. Because 